he was always moving forward. Um, and that's pretty much how, what I will remember him as, as being and doing. A news at exclusive tonight. We're hearing from a childhood friend of the man who died in a fire in New Haven this morning. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. I'm Darren Kramer. That fire broke out at a high-rise apartment building in downtown New Haven early this morning. Dozens of people forced out into the streets. Two firefighters were hurt and two people were treated for smoke inhalation and burns. One of those people died and tonight we're learning more about that victim. News 8's AJ Walker has the exclusive story. AJ. Ann and Darren, his name is Charlton Gilbert. He's 63 years old. People told me he was very well liked and very well known. He was known for just kind of walking around, sort of a fixture downtown. But I am outside of this apartment complex here where that fire broke out. And neighbors inside tell me he was also well liked and well known there as well. So it's really a loss for the people that knew him. Pam Boardman Simpson hopes to put a face to the name Charlton Gilbert, the person who authorities identify as the victim who died this morning in a New Haven fire. A friend of ours um, uh, called me this morning and told me the name, and I said, Charlton, is that Chuck? And then, of course, I learned during the day that, that it had been. Pam says she remembers the last time she saw Charlton alive. He had on his, um, his, his hat with, his, um, with a little uh, draw strap. And I said, Chuck, do you know who I am? She says the two talked for a good while and caught up on old times. She remembers him best as the cute little boy with the glasses in her sixth grade class at Alice Peck Elementary School in Hamden back in 1964. Show me where he is in this picture. He's right here, up top, almost in the center. Pam says almost as memorable as this picture is that Charlton was the nephew of A.C. Gilbert, a famous Connecticut toy maker best known for inventing the erector set. But this childhood picture is the only picture she has of him, a lasting memory and the final day they saw each other this spring. And I saw him walking by and I went running out because I didn't want to miss him this time. Pam isn't the only one who remembers Charlton well. Neighbors also say he'll be missed. Every day to always be like, hello, Maureen, how are you doing? Just always very friendly. The fire that claimed his life broke out about 4.30 this morning at University Towers Apartments. Firefighters say Charlton died of smoke inhalation in his sixth floor apartment. Pam says that while people learn details about his death, to also remember his life. If his family's out there, know that he has people that, that cared about him and that we, that we stopped and we looked and we listened. Um, to his story. And state fire investigators have been on the scene all day. They were out here just a little while ago. They left about three hours ago. So hopefully we'll learn more about what started this tragic fire. For now, live in New Haven, AJ Walker, News 8. Just to let you know, the AC Gilbert Company was founded in the Westville section of New Haven in 1909. It went out of business in the 1960s, but it's still a big part of the state's rich history. To find out more about the AC Gilbert and his toy company, we have a link to the website, WTNH.com.